Hi, it's time for another math easy solution uh, to discuss further into shifted conics and now look at example two, which looks at a horizontal parabola and basically shifting it. So let's just go ahead and look at the example right here. Yeah, so this example states sketch the curve x equals one minus y squared. Yeah, now uh, this is a pretty easy example to sketch, but uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna follow the steps in the, in the shifted conics yeah, methodol methodology that I went over just because it's good to understand how uh, we can shift them yeah, because it's not always gonna be this simple, the equation. Yeah, so uh, what we'll do is first recall from my earlier video that if we shift a parabola, just a basic vertical parabola, say vertical parabola like this, vertical parabola, so if we had one like this, y equals to x squared, or y equals a times x squared, just, just add a constant, then we can shift this. So we, if we shift, what we'll do is uh, y minus, uh, I'll do y minus k, this equals to a, and then x minus h. So if we do this, what happens is we shift from the vertex going from, yeah, so right here, vertex here is the origin. So this one is the origin and then it goes over to here where now it's going to be h and uh, k. Yeah, but in our case right here, because we have the y squared, this one's x squared for the vertical one, but in our case, I'll write this here, but in our case, so we have a horizontal uh, parabola. Yeah, parabola like this. So what we have now is, it'd be the exact same thing, but it's pretty much, you could think we're just shifting the uh, axis. So now what we'll have is a x equals to a y squared, and then this shifts over to, uh, now we'll have x minus h, let's use the same terminology there, and then we'll have a, and then, so a y minus k squared, like that, over here. And likewise, as above, the vertex or right here, yeah, the vertex or just the bottom or the, the point where the parabola starts curving away uh, opposite direction. This one's going to be, again, the origin here. And then it goes over to this side. It's going to be at h, k, so same as that. And to see this visually, it will look something like this over here. This is the x, this is the y. So if we have a horizontal parabola like this, this one is going to be x equals 2. Yeah, x equals to a uh, y squared is actually on the negative side. I'll just make it uh, positive for now because because <laughs> this one here we're, we're dealing with is actually negative. It's going to go that way. But we'll just draw this like this. And this one is our x equals to a y squared. So notice here the origin right here, 0, 0 is the vertex here. And then you could just uh, think of this as the new y axis because now it's probably going upwards to the x if you were to rotate it. And now what would happen is if we were to shift this, this would go somewhere like, yeah, like over here, and I'll draw this in red. So let's, say, let's just say we were to shift this whole thing over to here and or somewhere further away, like here. And now what we have is this new, and it's exact same thing, it just goes over to it like this. And this is gonna be now, shifting it like this, let's write shift. And draw this a bit better so it looks pretty much the same opening like that. And now at this point will be h and k is a new vertex here. And then the equation is just going to be, uh, this is just going to be now x minus h equals to a. And then we have y minus k squared. So this is the exact same thing as for the vertical, but now we have a horizontal. It looks something like this. Yeah, so I just wanted to review that just to go follow this methodology pretty strictly. Yeah, and now what we could do is look at our equation here. So x equals 1 minus y squared. So we have, uh, so I'll just write thus x equals to 1 uh, minus y squared. In other words, we can just move this around over to this side, and now what we end up having is x minus 1 like this equals 2, and then we have negative, negative y squared. In other words, to make this look like this one over here, uh, this shifting across on that side, well, that's just going to be our a is going to be now, yeah, our a is just negative 1, and then the, uh, the k is a 0. So this is the same thing as, and I'll put this in, yeah, put it right here. Uh, this is x minus uh, h. 
equals to a, and this is going to be y minus k squared. So then what we have is h equals to 1, a equals to negative 1, and k equals to 0 right there. So now what we do is we end up shifting. So the new vertex right here, let's write vertex is, uh, remember it's going to be h, k. Now this case is going to be equal to 1 and 0. And since a is equal to negative 1, so since a is negative 1, it opens to the opposite side. Since a is less than 0, uh, the parabola opens up, I'll just write opens up uh, outwards, or to the left, opens up left words. <laughs> Let's make up words right now. You know, I just moved, uh, here I just moved it over to this side, so it's uh, right a bit better. So since uh, a is less than 0, the parabola opens up left word or left words, whatever you want to use it. Then if we were to do a graph this out, we could do it manually. I just uh, went and used the decimals calculator just because it's a bit neater. So here is the red right here. Yeah, actually here I quickly just pause and uh, just update it to make a dashed line. So this is the original one right here. This is just our x equals to the a y squared, but now it's negative, so x equals to negative uh, 1, so negative 1 y squared. So notice how it opens up to the left right here, and his dashed line is the origin over here, 0, 0, and then when we ha shift it over to this side, all we're doing is basically just shifting it over to this side right here. This is at 1 and 0, and it opens up the exact same to the left like that, and again, this is our x equals 1 minus y squared formula. So yeah, that's uh, yeah, that's all, all for today. Then that was just a quick uh, example video, and I just wanted to uh, just drive the point home on how the shifting works and using the basically the same methodology that I went over in my early videos on shifting conics and yes hashtag nice anyways that's all for today if you learn from this quick video and uh, yeah like always you can download these exact notes in the link in the description below as well as viewing these notes on steam and follow me at MES I'll be posting the link to these notes in the description as well. Anyways, all for today. Also, make sure to check out my uh, private uh, Discord channel and math forums and post whatever cool math or science-related stuff you find. Anyways, that's all for today. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for another math easy solo.